Hello YouTube, my name is Bowtied Media, and today I have a review of Draper's Moments EP. I've been a fan of Draper since his early Monster Cat days back in I think 2013 or 2014, and I've followed him pretty much ever since. He's produced a slew of EPs over the years to uh, varying success. Well, this latest project is five tracks long with a prelude, so it's kind of four main tracks and sits at around 14 minutes runtime. So let's dive into the five tracks individually and then I'll talk about my kind of overall ideas on this EP after. Prelude is a prelude. It establishes the narrative of moments and holding on to moments and it actually has this kind of almost dark tonality to it. I almost felt like a booming bass line was just gonna hit at any moment and it was gonna rock into something completely different than what it actually did. But Draper does use a nice little trick here to make the transition seem seamless from prelude to the first actual track, the second track, by fading out of the prelude and fading into the other track and the fade in the other track has this nice little drum line in. But that track, I Don't Wanna Go, is easily my favorite from the EP. It's this big anthematic track that is just so bright and hopeful, with lyrics like, I'm too in love to let it go, and I don't wanna go. It's super uplifting and feels like a classic kind of summer anthem. Moments is the third track, and well, it's the title track. It keeps that nice, bright production sound to it and leans a little more towards the electro pop genre, almost future bass. A weird part about the song is it uses a kind of classic motif or trope of using a countdown or a rocket launch countdown to be like after eight, seven, six, and then it just does it when it gets to zero. It doesn't do anything. It's the drop is when it says it, and then it kind of just goes into the the post drop. And the, why did it count down? Omens is the fourth and chillest of all the tracks by uh, kind of doubling the length of the build and the drop to it actually just being one. The whole song is one of those big build up and drop once tracks. And Fix Myself tops off the track list and is a future based track through and through. The drop ends pretty abruptly here and the kind of male chanting of uh, we gotta do this right uh, just feels a little cheesy. Okay, so as an EP as a whole, the whole thing feels like it's really lacking quality. And I think the biggest reason for this and why I think it is the semi-processed vocals. I know Draper can sing on tracks and I've heard it without processed vocals and so I don't know why he made the decision to go super almost semi-processed and that just feels so wrong. It makes it seem like every single lyric that is sung here is just slightly off and it's just it's, it doesn't sound so right sonically. And that is layered on top of the fact that I don't think the overall mixing and mastering of this EP is tip top either. It's hard to express necessarily in words, but I think the best way to describe it is that the instrumentation doesn't have the oomph or kick to it that I think it should. Each hit just feels dry and lackluster and it's not like it's, it just doesn't have that big energy or big room sound that I feel like it should. I think this is most evident in Fix Myself where the last track is just, it's, I think it's just mixed absolutely bad. The backbeat to the drop just feels lifeless and lost, and when paired with the overtly poppy future bass melody, it just doesn't lend itself too kindly to it either. The whole thing kind of feels like a parody of itself and that genre of music and just the kind of uh, pop future bass sound. This EP is honestly pretty strange to me to kind of discern where my overall opinions and thoughts are because I really do like the atmosphere of these songs. They've got the nice builds to them. They have, they're super bright and uplifting, but the, ugh, that production quality is just not there, not where I want it to be. Draper has always done a solid job of producing a kind of mini journey with each of his projects, and I applaud him for that. I just don't think this album has the production quality to back up that atmosphere. So yes, atmosphere, big plus for me, but that production, big no-no. So for me, do I just ignore that kind of fact in a repeat listen, or do I just enjoy it and soak in what I do like about the song? I mean, I'll try, but the hardest part is that it just feels like it's a dull itch on your back that you just can't get. It's there, and it's just, it's in your head, and now that I've acknowledged it, I just, I can only think of it. Overall, I think Draper did an adamant job creating an atmosphere and tonality for this five track EP. The first couple tracks are bright and fun to listen to, super uplifting and hopeful, but my only gripe, which is a big one, is that the production and mixing and mastering just isn't there. The semi-processed vocals and odd leveling decisions just make my perceived quality of this project go down pretty significantly. I am being fairly hard on this project because I wanted it to be so good. I wanted it to be great. I didn't love his last EP and so 
first couple songs this felt like a breath of fresh air but it just ultimately wasn't for me and for those reasons draper's moments ep is going to score a five but thank you guys so much for watching i have been bowtie media let me know what you guys think in the comment section below did you like this did you not let me know what you think of draper and his new or old stuff let me know in the comment section below and i will see you guys in another video